So Marvel has officially announced Phase 4 and all the movies and TV shows in it, so I'm going to rank them from most to least excited. So first up, we have The Eternals. I'm just going to put this in interested for now. I really need to know more about the actual plot. The cast seems pretty good. Uh, I don't really know much about the director or anything like that. It just needs more info. It could be very cool, and they've proven that they can go deep into these galaxies and create these deep universes. And this is apparently going to take place a long, long time ago. So this should be interesting. There might be some tie-ins with Thanos because this is part of his like origin kind of thing. Because this is his race kind of thing, if you want to call it that. And it sounds like there's going to be some galactic war, so I'm sure it's going to be good. I just need to know a little bit more information right now. Now we have our first show on the list, The Falcon and Winter Soldier, I'm excited for. These two just have great chemistry, Anthony Mackie as Falcon is hilarious, him as just a human is hilarious. So with him having full potential here, and now he has Captain America, so he has a bigger role. This show I'm sure is going to be tons of fun, and it might have some interesting connections to Captain America in the past and older movies. Next up we have Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, and this also goes in the interested category. Obviously, just like everybody else, I had no idea who Shang-Chi is before this movie got announced. But, I mean, the really thing that's keeping this an interested and not the uh, not interested category is the fact that we're going to have the real Mandarin in this movie. Now, obviously, a lot of people didn't like the Iron Man 3 twist with the fake Mandarin. I thought it was funny. I thought it was good, but I'm not comic book buff, so that's probably why. Now, I don't know much about the cast, but it does seem like they've been in some good things, and they're getting a good amount of talent. So I'm sure it will be good, but once again, I just don't know anything about the character, so it's for, hard for me to get super excited about this, but I'm sure Marvel will always come through. Next up, we have Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness, and this is going all the way at the top. I think this is going to be the best movie of Phase 4. I think Doctor Strange, the first one, is one of the most underrated movies. And now that we got a little bit more character development in Infinity War and Endgame, and uh, Thor Ragnarok a little bit there. I feel like more people are going to care about it. Uh, Wanda's in this one. And there's going to be horror elements. So I think Nightmare might be the villain. But no matter who it is. There's no way a movie that's actually going into the multiverse. It's not duping us. Or at least we don't think so. Like uh, Far From Home. Because this one's actually in the title of the movie. So we're finally going to get to see the multiverse. And maybe characters that aren't in the MCU anymore. Maybe they'll be back just in little cameos, and it's going to tie into WandaVision, so this should be a really, really good movie. And plus, the effects in the first Doctor Strange were insane, so now with the multiverse, I can't even imagine with a couple more years under their belt what this is going to look like. Moving on, we have WandaVision, and I'm sorry, I'm just not interested. I don't think these two characters can carry a show on their own. Now, like I said, it does connect to uh, Doctor Strange, so maybe there's going to be something there. Maybe he'll make some appearances in some episodes, but I really just don't think these two like i said they just on their own don't have enough power or chemistry together and it's really going to determine how long these seasons are for these shows if it's like six or seven episodes it could be good but if this is going to be like 10 to 15 or anywhere above that i just don't think there's enough you can do here they got to bring vision back somehow which is probably going to be through the multiverse somehow and i'm really just not excited for this at all also i'm just realizing i should put the need more info under interested but it kind of goes for both interested and not interested Either way, I'm going to need more info to actually get a full opinion on these. But continuing on, we have Loki. I'm going to put this in excited. I feel like it's just such a good character that things could go good, like super good. Now, obviously there's a huge chance that they don't know what to do and it actually is a bad show and a series, but I don't think they're going to do that. There's just so much mischief that he can get into on his own storylines. Obviously, he can be traveling through space because he is a god on his own. And hopefully we get to see more of the God of Mischief, because that's his best stuff when he's just messing around and having fun messing with other people's minds. Next up we have Marvel What If. This is going in interested. Now there could be some really, really cool stuff they do with this. Once again, it really just depends. We need more info. Also, it's going to be animated. And besides Spider-Verse, which I absolutely loved, I'm not really into animated stuff that much. So that's going to be a hard sell for me just because of that. But that's kind of an unpopular opinion for me. I know everybody else loves animation. So... Once I get past that hump and actually start watching it, like I said, there could be some really cool episodes, but I feel like there will also be the ones that are just kind of so-so. Like, if it's what-ifs on, like, Avengers movies, it'll be cool, or Iron Man and Captain America. But if it's some just lower-tier stuff that really doesn't have any effect, I'm not really going to care that much. And also, 
depends on who the actors are that they have filling in for all the characters. Next we have Hawkeye, and I am not excited for Hawkeye. I don't know why. I just don't feel like Hawkeye has been a compelling character in any of these movies. Now Endgame has been his best, but he just always feels like, not because he doesn't have the greatest powers, just because I think Jeremy Renner is kind of like that I don't care kind of attitude. It kind of comes off in his movies, and I just don't feel like he fits this this character at all and i just don't feel like it's going to be interesting enough now there is going to be kate bishop that character in this that he's mentoring so maybe if she gets a bigger role it could be a good series but like i said i'm going to need more info and to see a couple episodes but right now i'm just really not that excited next up we have thor love and thunder i know a lot of people are kind of iffy on this i'm excited i'm hyped for this this is where it's going i'm just going to say i'm excited but it's in the hype tier I know people are mad that Natalie Portman is going to be Thor, but I feel like this is exactly what she needed. I didn't like her as Jane really, but with this bigger role and a new role, and Chris Hemsworth is still going to be in this movie is what people are forgetting, like he's still going to be him in this movie, and just going to be two times the Thor power, so I don't know why people are thinking this is going to be bad. Him and Valkyrie have good connections and chemistry, who knows who else is going to be in this movie, maybe somehow Mark Ruffalo ends up back in it, probably not, but you never know what they're going to do with Professor Hulk. And with Taika Waititi, it's obviously going to be a funny movie and a good time, and it's definitely going to be one of the most rewatchable, even if it's not one of the deepest movies. Although I do hope they dive in a little bit deeper and don't undercut all the deep story stuff for cheap jokes like they did in Ragnarok, even though it is a very good movie. Now I know Blade is technically a Phase 5 movie, it's been confirmed, but I gotta put it here, and I am hyped for Blade. I just I hope they can take the plunge and make it R-rated. That would be the best thing they could do for Blade. Now, obviously, it will still be good if it's PG-13, but I feel like to have the full Blade effect, it needs to be R-rated. But Mahershala Ali is a very, very good actor, and I feel like he can fill in the role of Wesley Snipes very well. Obviously, it'll be very different feeling, but with all the new technology and stuff, it should be a very, very cool movie. Like I said, I know it's Phase 5, but I'm putting it up here. And next up, we have Black Widow, which is now going in excited now that we have some details. Before, I didn't really care. But I forget, I think it's Yelena or something like that. I forget the character's name. But we learned she's in this movie. And she's kind of like a Black Widow type. And in the comics, she takes over the role and the mantle of Black Widow. Which might be something they hint towards. Because obviously Black Widow dies in Endgame. And the real reason this is in Excited for me and not lower is Taskmaster is the villain. And I love Taskmaster. He looks so cool in the concept art. I'll put it up here if I can remember and find it. On screen right now i think this movie with the villain alone if they get a good actor because we don't know who that is yet that's crucial could have great potential i just wish they made this a little bit earlier anytime before maybe like a phase two movie i feel like this would have fit in perfectly there because it would have been right there in the timeline when it happened or maybe just a little bit late now it's just kind of like all right it's gonna be cool but you know she's dead so it kind of undercuts it but it should still be a good movie so let me know do you agree do you disagree and let me know which one you're most excited for I'll see you guys in the next one.